Hello everyone, my name is Andrei Kanunikov. I present a, <coughs> a project uh, which devotes, devotes to algebraic numbers and more precisely uh, geometric vision on them. Uh, you see this picture which uh, demonstrates the main idea to consider algebraic numbers as vectors and uh, we use this illustration, this idea to solve the algebraic pro problems. Um, I'll start with some introduction. Uh, in geometry, we are used to add vectors and multiply them by scalars, uh, numbers. And this geometrical language, as I said, often occurs to be useful in quite non-geometrical situations. Uh, in this project, we uh, consider algebraic numbers as vectors. Uh, algebraic numbers can be defined as roots of polynomials with rational coefficients. And rational numbers then are in the role of scalars. Um, consideration of algebraic numbers as vectors uh, uh, are very mm, uh, often um, is very useful and natural and product productive in general. Uh, uh, situation because uh, it enables us to apply geometrical ideas in algebraic uh, problems. And we start with the formal definition of linear independence of numbers. Uh, we call complex numbers x1, xn, uh, linear independent over the set of rational number q. Uh, if the uh, linear combination of these numbers with some uh, rational coefficients a n, a1, a n, uh, equals zero only in trivial situation when uh, all the coefficients are zero. Uh, you can compare this with uh, non-complainer vectors as a figure. Uh, so linear dependence is a simple generalization of uh, non-complainer uh, vectors or non-proportional vectors. Yeah. Uh, some history. Uh, the foundations of the theory of algebraic numbers uh, were laid by very young uh, Gauss, uh, who, is, um, who published a um, uh, big mathematical book, Treatise uh, Arithmetic uh, Investigation in English. Uh, this uh, mathematical book has played a great role in number theory at all, uh, together with um, Lagrange's work Mm, devoted to solving equa of equations, um, it prepared the discoveries of uh, Varis Galois, who established the criterion for solvability of equations in radicals. Uh, and also, it laid um, oh, these, uh, these results of Gauss, of Lagrange, of Galois, uh, transformed algebra from ancient science of solving equations to the modern, modern algebra, uh, in, uh, which is, investigates uh, quite abstract uh, algebraic structures, uh, such as uh, groups, fields, and others. And um, then the Galois theory and theory of algebraic numbers uh, were developed and uh, systematized in the second half of 19th century and the beginning of 20th century, due to uh, Humer, Kronecker, Hilbert, uh, not and other mathematicians. Um, so, uh, uh, goal of the projects are the following. First, we uh, want to introduce participants to algebraic numbers theory and to a more complicable um, Galois theory. Galois theory in, uh, includes also elements of group theory. So, uh, that's why it's uh, this theory is much more complicable, uh, but we uh, deal with only with algebraic numbers and fields in this project. Uh, as for to uh, as for um, um, specific problems, yeah, uh, the most one, the main one uh, problem is to prove linear independence of radicals of rational numbers uh, in simple way without Galois theory and to get uh, irrationality of sum of radicals as a corollary. 
And the second goal is, is to invent natural proof of the Gauss van Selle theorem, uh, given a criterion of constructible regular polygons. And uh, finally, we give some research problems which uh, generalize and develop the main theorem, ther theorems of the project. Uh, uh, what you need to know uh, in advance, uh, background. Uh, the necessary background amounts uh, basic facts about complex numbers and polynomials. Uh, actually, the, uh, you need to uh, uh, root squaring. Uh, my, um, uh, you have to know such simple operations as uh, root squaring of complex numbers and uh, division of polynomials with the remainder. Yeah. Uh, let's consider some uh, warm up problems to start uh, and discuss uh, some ideas. Uh, we prove a rationality of the following numbers. Yeah. Okay, the list of numbers, all of them are uh, irrational, but how to prove it? Uh, <coughs> the rationality of one radical is a simple arithmetic question. Uh, which is solved by the following lemma. If we have a uh, positive rational number q and some integer k, then uh, kth uh, root of q is uh, rational if and only the degrees of all prime factors of uh, the numerator and the denominator in the reducible representation of q are multiplies of k. This is a simple uh, exercise. Uh, so uh, by the, this lemma, the first number, this cubic uh, cube square, uh, is rational. Yeah? Uh, then the rationality of uh, the second and the third numbers uh, can be established by school methods. For example, uh, we're not going to square this sum of three radicals, yes, but uh, we uh, uh, we tr uh, transpose one of radicals to uh, other sides and square afterwards. Uh, then we separate uh, square of six and get a, a contradiction to uh, the lemma above. Yeah, and we can get contradiction uh, for uh, problem one C in the similar way. Yeah, we transpose uh, square of two. To right side yeah, and then uh, cubes a uh, cube both sides and uh, then we get contradiction that a square of two is uh, uh, is rational yeah uh, but uh, what to do with other numbers yes we can't uh, we can square yeah and we don't know what to do uh, what to do in general case. Uh, the answer is given by the following uh, theorem, one of the main theorem in the project, theorem one. Uh, if we have some positive uh, rational numbers, uh, which are not proportional pairwise, uh, then they are linear independence, linear independent over Q. Uh, that is, if uh, line, uh, only a, a trivial linear combination of these radicals is uh, equals zero. As a corollary, uh, we get a rationality uh, of uh, sum of the of these radicals. It's enough to put to substitute q1 uh, is one and use uh, this uh, theorem directly. Uh, in order to prove the theorem, uh, we reformulate it uh, in equivalent way, uh, but more convenient for proof. Uh, we suppose that uh, all exponents of roots uh, are the same, equals to some k, uh, and uh, we uh, decompose all uh, uh, radicands q1, qn. We consider them as uh, natural numbers. Uh, and decompose into the, the primes. Uh, so it's uh, easy to show that 
uh, theorem one is equivalent to the theorem two, which states that such system of uh, k raised to n numbers is linearly independent of a q. Uh, you can see, you can imagine this system as vertices of uh, k uh, n dimensional uh, lattice. For example, for square roots, we deal with uh, and uh, dimensional cube. Yes. Uh, to prove the theorems, uh, we should understand some uh, concepts. Uh, for example, uh, let us uh, make the first step. Uh, linear independence of one and square of two over Q uh, uh, is simple uh, uh, means that um, uh, square, uh, root of, uh, square of root of two is uh, irrational number. Yeah, uh, it's well known fact. Uh, let us prove that uh, number in the vertices of this square, one square of two, square of three, and square of six, are uh, linear independent of a Q. The first step is uh, separate the radical square of three. So we rewrite, rewrite uh, this linear decomposition in the following way. Uh, if um, uh, if uh, the second coefficient c plus d square of two is zero, then obviously uh, the first coefficient is zero as well. And then uh, uh, we uh, have that all the coefficients a, b, c, d uh, equals zero. But if c plus d square of two is not zero, then we can uh, separate square of three and uh, get a con uh, contradiction is uh, because uh, when we have only two square roots, yes, we can square both sides. So we, uh, yeah, we multiply uh, by conjugate in this step is the main idea. Yeah, and uh, after squaring, uh, we get a b equals zero. So uh, either a, a equals zero or b equals zero. And in both of, of these cases, both cases, we get a contradiction to lemma one. And uh, this example demonstrates and uh, lead us to some notion, some main notion in mathematics uh, notion of field. Uh, let us analyze uh, this solution. Uh, linear independence of these four numbers uh, has been reduced to the fact that uh, square of three is alien uh, for the set q plus q square of two to the such uh, kind of plane or q numbers. More formally, square of three doesn't belong to it. Uh, just a square of two is alien for Q. And uh, what was uh, important? Uh, note that this set Q plus Q square of two uh, is closed under uh, all four arithmetic operations. Uh, it's obvious for uh, uh, addition, uh, subtraction and multiplication. Uh, but also is uh, closed under division um, because we can remove of uh, rationality or den denominator uh, multiplication by uh, multiplying by uh, conjugate. Uh, such sets uh, are called fields. Uh, we consider only number fields uh, that is subsets of uh, complex numbers. A number field is a set of numbers which contains uh, zero and one and is closed under four arithmetic operations, as I said. Uh, we will omit the word a number because we consider on number fields. So uh, you see this formal definition. Of course, there exist other fields as well. For instance, uh, uh, fields of residues, fields of rational function and others. And uh, the next, uh, main notion is field extension. Uh, what means to join the numbers alpha 1, alpha n to some field k? It means to consider the least field by inclusion 
which contains k and these numbers. Uh, for example, if we join a square radical, then we have we get uh, such uh, plane, yeah, two-dimensional space over k, uh, the set of all uh, numbers of kind a plus b square of d, yeah. And uh, uh, let's define as well a uh, linear independence uh, over uh, arbitrary fields. It's the same definition. Uh, with k instead of q. Uh, here's a list of simple properties of linear independence. See, system uh, uh, that can be arbitrary, an arbitrary field, uh, then the system containing zero or two numbers proportional over q is uh, obviously linear independent over k. Uh, subsystem of linear independent system is linear independent over the same field. The system of two uh, numbers, one and some x, is linear independent over k if and only if x doesn't belong to k. And uh, the factors a1, a n from k in some expressions and some linear combinations are uniquely, uh, uniquely determined if and only if this system x1, xn is linear independent over k. And uh, let's uh, define the main uh, notion in our project, algebraic numbers. Uh, more precisely, uh, let's consider geometrical uh, definition of this notion. Yeah? Uh, what is the sense of linear independence of a K of powers uh, of the one uh, number alpha? Uh, one alpha alpha square, alpha raised to n, uh, Linear are linear de uh, dependent uh, if and only if there are some uh, numbers c0, c1, cn from k such that uh, at least one of them is non zero, and uh, the following uh, equation is um, true. It means that alpha is a root of non zero polynomial uh, with coefficients from k. Uh, such alpha is called algebraic number over k. Among these polynomials, uh, there is a unique uh, one having the lowest degree and linear coefficients one, yeah? Uh, because if we have uh, two uh, su such polynomial, we can uh, subtract one from the other and uh, we get, uh, we obtain polynomial with uh, root alpha and uh, lowest, uh, lower degree. Yeah, it's impossible. Uh, so such polynomial is called the minimal polynomial of alpha over k and is often denoted uh, by mu alpha k of x. Uh, basic property, properties of this polynomial, you can see on this slide. Uh, the degree of this polynomial uh, is also uh, called uh, as a degree of alpha over k. And ge geometrically, uh, uh, this number is the least uh, natural n such that uh, powers one alpha uh, etc alpha raised to n are linearly dependent over k the minimal such n uh, then the polynomial uh, minimal polynomial is irreducible over k it's obvious and uh, every polynomial from uh, k uh, over k with root alpha uh, is multiple of uh, minimal polynomial uh, is uh, uh, this is simple uh, exercise on uh, division with remainder. And the last one is a polynomial with root alpha and the leading coefficient one, irreducible uh, and uh, which is irreducible over k equals to minimal polynomial. And uh, let's return to uh, the problem of irrationality of this uh, difference of uh, fifths roots. Uh, what to do? Uh, we don't know this uh, difference by a. Uh, let's suppose that this is a rational number. And uh, when we transpose a to right side, uh, we don't um, uh, power. Uh, uh, what we, we, we consider minimal polynomials of uh, left and right sides. Uh, it's uh, not very difficult uh, 
uh, exercise to show that minimal polynomial of left side is uh, <coughs> a binomial uh, x uh, uh, raised to five minus three. Uh, it's exercise to participants. And uh, in a sim uh, similar way, we can show that uh, minimal, we can uh, find minimal uh, polynomial for right side. Yeah? And uh, comparing these polynomials, we see that uh, equating the coefficients at x uh, raised to four, uh, we get that uh, a equals uh, zero. It's obvious contradiction. Uh, one more, uh, one more theorem. One more theorem, uh, which generalizes uh, adjoinment of square radical, uh, which we consider above, is a, a theorem of about disposal of the rationality from the de denominator. Uh, let an uh, alpha be algebraic or uh, algebraic number over uh, some field k and have the degree n. Uh, what is the structure of uh, field extension k of alpha? This is a vector space over k of uh, having dimension n and basis one alpha, alpha square, etc. Alpha, uh, the last one, alpha uh, raised to n minus one. Uh, as it is uh, only uh, every number of this field is uniquely expressed in the following form. Uh, and uh, as example, we uh, consider the uh, following warm up problems. To uh, find minimal problem, uh, to uh, find a minimal polynomial for the following numbers. Uh, if you can't, uh, f f in some points, it's quite difficult to uh, write uh, this polynomial directly eh, because of, uh, uh, its degree is very high. For example, in D, E, yeah, in, uh, J, K, uh, in such points, it's sufficient to. Uh, right to find a uh, degree of the polynomial, not whole polynomial. Yes. Uh, and uh, then the next, uh, the next big problem uh, is dedicated to expression by radicals. Yeah. Uh, we call that a complex number is expressed by radicals of a Q if there exists a tower fields uh, uh, such that every, every extensions every extension in this uh, tower is radical, this formal definition. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, Galois proved a criterion for a number to be expressed by radicals. Uh, it's very complicable problem, and we uh, consider only partial case of, the, of, of it uh, with square radicals, uh, because it's, it's connected to ancient a problem of constructible regular polygons. Uh, uh, this is one cell theorem given uh, such criteria. A regular n gon can be constructed by compass and ruler if and only if a Euler function of n is a power of two. Uh, that is, n is a product of a power of, of two and some distinct Fermat primes. Uh, Fermat primes are the primes of the following form. Uh, Fermat <coughs> conjectured that um, all uh, these numbers are prime, but uh, actually uh, only five. Uh, 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 we know that only five uh, of them are primes. Uh, Euler um, showed that the next one is not prime, and uh, nobody know uh, nobody knows if. Uh, 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 if uh, there uh, some, uh, uh, we know only these prime Fermat numbers to the to the moment, and uh, the main part of this uh, Gauss-Van Sell theorem uh, is to show that p gon is constructible whenever p is prime Fermat numbers. Uh, Gauss did it using uh, his. Uh, period, uh, period theory, and uh, one goal of the project, they said, is uh, to show uh, how to invent uh, this period theory using only algebraic number 
uh, algebraic numbers and fields without Galois theory. Yes. Uh, also, we offer some research problems connected to both theorems uh, to uh, li uh, linear independence predicates yeah, and to uh, constructible polygons. Uh, for example, uh, one of such problems is to uh, investigate what polygons can be constructed with uh, a ruler, compass, and trisector. Okay, thank you for, uh, for your attention. Any questions?